Today, I'm going to finally make the video that everybody's been asking for uh, and teach you how to multibox on multiple computers. And you are going to laugh when you see how easy it is. And I'm not wearing any pads. Okay, let's start with assigning static IP addresses to your computer. What? Huh? That sounds terribly hard. Okay, this is the only tricky part, and it's so tricky that I'm not going to teach you how to do it. Just Google assign static IP to Windows computer, and you'll get dozens of articles on how to set a static IP address on your computer. The good news is you only have to do this on your side computers. You don't have to do it on your main, all right? So I'm going to assume you've already assigned static IP addresses to your computer, and you know what they are, OK? Now, make a new hotkey net file. We're going to call ours hotkey raid alliance 3 comp. And I'll put this in the next um, bundle release as an example file. Notice I have three characters I'm defining, three windows I'm defining, but notice there's something different today. Instead of local, the word local in all of my window definitions, two of my window definitions have IP addresses. Guess what those are? Yes, those are the IP addresses of the computer you want that window to pop open on. All right? So when you run your control alt l in this case here's alt control l that pops open a group of three guys heart strike appears on the computer with ip address 111 and knee arrow appears on the computer with ip address 222 all of the key presses that you make while multiboxing will get sent to those computers, just as if the window was on your computer. It really is as simple as that. Now notice the window shortcuts have the IP address defined in them. All right, so W2 sends to 111. W3 sends to one to two two two. So if you look down here at all the hotkey definitions, there's no distinction of which computer uh, to send to. You've already made that distinction in the Windows shortcuts. So when we send, um, for example, the Alt four key to the focus window and W one two and three. They get sent to the proper computers. They get routed to the proper computers. All right, that is the, as simple as it gets in hotkey net setup. You simply load that, and you are ready to go, kind of. It couldn't be that simple, right, Todd? Well, it's not exactly that simple. All right. Let's look at hotkey net. Now, I'm sorry, you're looking at a 4K monitor here, and this is going to be an eye chart. I really should have done this in 2K, but um, kind of feel your way through it. On your main computer, all right, on your main computer, you're going to go to Options, Connection Settings, and then you're going to say, are you connecting PCs? Yes. And then it's going to ask you, is this a server or a client? The side computers are clients. This computer is a server. Then it's going to require nothing of you. Notice this port is going to be set by default to 1025. Remember that, because that's going to come up here in a minute. Right now, mine's set to 1027. I'll explain why. This port number should be um, set to the same number on your side computers. OK, now let's pretend you say OK to that. Your main computer is ready. Your main computer is going to 
um, be ready to be a server for your keystrokes and your um, mouse clicks. Now let's let's warp and pretend we're on one of the side computers. Let's open up let's open up HotKeyNet on the side computer. Here it is. Options, connection settings. Now we're going to say, are you connecting PCs? Yes. Is this a server or a client? Client. The server's IP address. That's going to be the IP address of your main computer, the one where your keyboard and mouse is where you want to control everybody. Notice when you clicked on HotKeyNet's connection options, it told you what your main computer's IP address was when you opened it up. Make a note of that because that you will type in right here. 192.168.1.1 or whatever it is. And notice the port should be exactly the same as the one on your main computer. No password, no, no nothing else. Just hit apply. Now that side computer is ready. Do the same thing on the other side computers or for however many computers you have. You can have an unlimited number of computers. Um, you can have one computer per box if you want. Now, here's where the magic happens. When you start up your hotkey net and you start up the hotkey nets on your side computers, you're going to see this magical message. message. This server is connected to two clients. That'll, it'll only say that in your main computer. It won't say that on your side computers. On your side computers, it'll say, this server is connected to server and give you the server's IP address. All right? Now, here's the trick. You don't need to load scripts on your side computers. Your side computers are complete slaves to this computer. You don't even need a script for them. When this computer says, send the W key to all windows, it sends the W key to all windows and all computers, all right? So the only thing you'll have loaded is your, um, is your example Alliance, or, or your, I'm calling it Alliance 3 computer text, is your example Alliance 3 computer text file on your main computer. Then you go ahead and do your normal startup routine in, in this case it's going to be control alt l and you'll see windows magically pop up on your um, side computers now there is one big caveat all right notice launch and rename launch and rename specifies a path to your wow.exe that better be the same on all your computers if it's not, you cannot do this. It will not pop open your WoW on the other computers. So make a note that has to be the same. All right. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. That'll get you started. The problem with running it this way, you'll find very quickly, is when you make a change to smextend.lua, on this computer, you will have to copy it to the side computers. And that's a pain in the ass. So what I do to get around that, and I'll, sh I'll tell you about that in another video, is I actually make links to a mapped network drive. And the SM Extend I use on my side computers is a link to the SM Extend on my main computer. So when I change it anywhere, it gets changed on the central computer. That's it. It's as easy as that. Happy multiboxing. Start multiboxing on multiple computers right away.